So, do you need to order a special bra for those, or? Standard. Double D. Going the whole pixelated Nintendo look. <laughs> so what we have here is uh, Mighty Morphin Power Boobs, I'm sorry, Power Rangers. Uh, we have the first, what is it, seven seasons, which is referred to as the Zordon era. Uh, it actually ended with season six. Season seven began uh, the actual um, tradition of it being a separate Power Rangers series every season. These box sets, are, I believe, are still available through Shout. It was originally, was originally uh, uh, distributed by Shout through Time Live, and now it's just through Shout. And the box sets were cool because they came with, the box sets came, were unique in the fact that they came with a uh, special features disc or two. Uh, this one happens to have a Easter yeah, egg. You gotta hold it up higher, John. I know you're short. This one happens to have a uh, second feature disc right here. Uh, that if you can find it, it has the pilot episode on it. Uh, they also have, well, supposed to have a episode book. Does this one have it? Now, the episode, these books here, the episode book is cool because it actually has, um, goes over a little bit of the history of the shows on here. Uh, then it has episodes here. And it has a little bios of all the rangers on practically every page. And I believe the villains too. Um, the first two box sets came with these. Now you can buy these individually at the store. They look simply just like this. But the box sets, which was the only way to get all of them right away without having to wait. Because I think it was every other month or so, every three months, the next disc would come out. So if you were able to get the box sets, you got them all at once. Um, Shout has since uh, distributed... Um, all of the Power Rangers DVDs up to current. I believe they're on uh, disc, disc volume five of uh, Dino Charge. So there's usually five discs or five individual uh, volumes per season. So they should be doing Super Dino Charge pretty soon with volume one. Who is your favorite Ranger from the Mighty Morphin era? Originally, my favorite. Era. Originally, it was Jason. He was the leader. You know, he was the coolest. But that was before Tommy. Tommy came. showed up. And yes, this set does have the Green Ranger um, miniseries. It's got the White with Light White Ranger series on it. It's got Question. the introduction of Aisha, Rocky, and uh, Bullwinkle. <laughs> no, um, Adam. 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 Uh, question. Who was your all-time favorite Ranger? All-time favorite? I liked Green Ranger. I always went with the Green Ranger. Uh, it was like, like you, it was a Red Ranger until Tommy showed up. And then, yeah. It, does that cool. go for all of Tommy's different now, Ranger forms? Well, if you want to go through my favorite Tommy form, because uh, Tommy was the Green Ranger, he was the White Ranger, he was the Red Zeo Ranger, the Red Turbo Ranger, mm -hmm. and the Black uh, Dino Thunder Ranger. Mm -hmm. I, Green Ranger. Green Ranger. Green Ranger. Because he had that cool sword that made him evil, which comes with the new Legacy action figure. Now, which Green Ranger uniform did you like? Did you like the original? Uh, with, uh, with the shield. Yeah, or did you like the silver dragon nose? The newer one? Yeah. Well, he did, because he was wearing a new Green Ranger outfit mm -hmm. for the um, uh, Bat, what is those, Bat and Sun fan mm -hmm. films. That, that one's actually cool. That one, yeah. I actually like that one better. Yeah. <coughs> but less... even in uh, the anniversary episode of uh, Megaforce, he had the silver. See, I hadn't watched that one yeah. yet, so I'm still catching up. I'm on Samurai right now. But yeah, I do like, I think the white one of the Bat in the Sun that one looks uniform better. looked better than and, the green. And the thing, the thing is, um, David Yost, the blue, the original Blue Ranger, his suit looks like that now. I think they're all getting yeah, updated. Yeah, I think they're all upgraded. Uh, for special appearances when they go, go in uniform. And I like it because they look more superhero-esque. They don't look y'all just, you know, oh look, I'm a kid in spandex. So. What do you think of the new Megazord from the movie? For those who haven't seen it, check it out. I like the way it looks. I just don't like the fact that that's our Megazord yeah. for this movie. I think it needs to it look looks a little more, more like. Yeah, it looks more like a transformer. I mean, it doesn't look it all like it, it doesn't look all boxy, yeah. which is fine. But I mean, uh, if you go by what we've seen, it kind of looks like the Black Ranger Zord um, is the complete body. Mm -hmm. You got the feet, which is uh, tr the Triceratops. Yeah. You got the torso waist area. Which is like the, the yellow, saber the saber tooth tiger. tiger. You got the shoulders and the upper chest uh, area. Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus. And the wings. Yes, it has wings. The, the wings, wings in the and head the head is pterodactyl. And I feel like we're forgetting one. No. 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 But that's what it looks like. And, and it really does. And the, the mask look of, has eight legs. Yeah. 
Why is the mask down here? And it looks like a scarab. Yeah. I don't know. I, I understand update. Well, I'm the, all for the update. The Triceratops has. The Triceratops looks cool. It, it has multiple legs like that, too. Yeah, so I'm not sure why. But it actually has the head of a Triceratops. But these are actually supposed, the, the individual ones are also supposed to connect. So I'm wondering how that's going to work yeah. out. So I wonder if the ones that are connect are actually the ones that we're going to get in the movie. And the one, the toy, is, is how they're going to work this. I'm hoping to get my hands on the, that toy, though, because it does look cool. Yeah. It, it looks more like it belongs in a Transformer movie than in a Power Ranger movie. Yeah. It's, it's, well, it looks cool than a Transformer, actually. <laughs> the newer ones, anyway. So. But what's your favorite Zord? Dragon Zord. Did you prefer Tommy riding in the Dragon Zord or remote control? He never rode in it. Yes, he did. Once. 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 Well, he would want when it was combined. No, he rode in it one time. Did he? Uh, was yeah. it when it when, Oh, yeah. I always wanted him to go in. Yeah. I never understood. The is fine, yeah. too. I never understood why they kept him either riding on top or remote controlling from... Well, as soon as I watch the Japanese versions on DVD, I'll let you know. Because I'm sure that might be in there. Mm. Okay, so, who, who is your favorite female ranger? Amy Jo Johnson, the favorite ranger. Side note, I think it's in Lost Galaxy. Can I see this real quick? Yes. The Yellow Ranger. Astronema did become the Pink Ranger in Lost Galaxy. Yes, she did. Yeah, I believe it's Serena Vincent, the Yellow Ranger, right here. For you Power Ranger perverts out there, Brent, not another teen movie. She's the stereotypical naked girl, or foreign girl. And she's naked throughout the whole freaking movie. Really? Yeah. And she's not the only... They teen. actually not... show her naked? Yeah. Right? Because normally oh, with those to with to those spoof movies, no, they don't. To she was pretty hot. Not a good movie, though. Probably have to watch it just for that. <laughs> the only thing, or that's the only reason why I watched it. <laughs> like, what? A Power Ranger was naked? Gotta check that out. If only Amy... You know how many... She did. When? There was a cable, like a Skinamax, like it was on Showtime or whatever. She did a movie, and uh, it, was, it was a brief, it was like maybe not even five minute part of the movie. But there's a uh, she ends up. I have um, seen a scene online where she she's up, in bed with a guy. Yeah, she ends up riding a guy. But it doesn't show anything. Those right. shows her tits. I didn't see that. You didn't watch the right one, and that's why we're here to bring you these little tidbits. Where you know what's the, the name of the movie? I don't know the name of the movie. <laughs> Just look up Amy Jo Johnson naked. Hit the video, and it'll pop up. The video. Um, it's not on this one. I think it was uh, Time Force. No, what was the one? Rescue. Power Ranger uh, Rescue. Lightspeed Rescue? Lightspeed Rescue. Um, the, it, for those wondering, I forget the episode, but uh, there was an episode at the very end of the credits where it does do, uh, um, in memory of Twee Train, that's actually still on there. Mm. So, cool. he didn't bring them all. If I would have known what he was bringing, I would have brought the rest of mine. And we just This is kind of a last minute yeah. thing, so this is all I got. This These were the best years of Power Rangers after... after Actually, Dino Thunder wasn't too bad, and um, Mystic Force wasn't bad. Dino Thunder was okay, and Mega Force was okay. Mega, I liked when I saw Mega yeah. Force. I liked it. But that, that, it, Mega, when Mega Force I really thought up, it went downhill after Space. When Mega Force showed up, that's when I decided to go back and rewatch Mighty Morphin all the way, so I can mm. catch up on everything. And right now, I'm on Samurai. See, I thought Lost Galaxy was the first of the crappy Power Rangers shows. Lost Galaxy was decent. I didn't really care for it. It still, it still kind of had the Zordon era in there because it still had Bulk and Bulk, Skull. Well, it had Skull at the beginning episode. Yeah. But Bulk was in there, so it was the Professor that they met in like uh, in space and all that Turbo. Astronema, who? Yeah. Can... So there was still kind of a connection to the yeah. Zordon era, but for the most part, six was the end. That's where you know Zordon's cows went. <laughs> And everyone could. And See, I never understood that. It, if Zordon being destroyed turned all the villains good. Why are there more villains? Yeah. Oh, no, it did happen. And, like, mm -hmm. I don't know. And why did Rita and Zed's son come back in Forever Red? It wasn't Forever Red. Or it wasn't. Those were the Beetleborgs. Oh, yeah. Those, yeah. <laughs> um, but his son. For, I was son... wondering, there was, there was an episode of Wild Force where it was the uh, anniversary at the time, 15th. Or 10th. 10th anniversary episode. Um, and it was Wild Force, and it was an episode called Forever Red, where all the Power Rangers, up till that point, the red ones, showed up. And um, the, the the villains were dressed as the old Beetleborgs. With different colors. With different colors. And they were trying to dig up a very horrible CGI-looking uh, Serpentera. A lot smaller than the original. And a lot smaller than the original. And the Wild Force Red Ranger... 
destroyed it by himself. With his Zord. And didn't it take the other It wasn't one? even with the Zord. It was with his little flyer. Whatever. It was a bad episode yeah. as far as that goes. But to see all the Rangers together. Because you got to see them morph individually. See, after... Which, again, doesn't make sense because the morphing grid for the body morphing Power Rangers was destroyed. So Jason shouldn't have been able to morph. Well, that was explained in the comics. Of course, when Adam showed up in one of the Ranger series as the Black Ranger... He was able to morph too, but that hurt him. Yeah, it actually hurt him the more. See what what happened was Jason had actually obtained his morpher, his new morpher from a clone ah. that Zed returned. And question was it Lost Galaxy or was it Time Force or one of the other shows where the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles teamed up with the Power Rangers? Space was it in space? In space. You heard it. For those not in the know, the Power Rangers fought, and then teamed up with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Because at and the time, Saban had his own Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Another series. fun little fact. And Power Rangers Ninja Storm was never supposed to happen originally. No. It was supposed to be Power Rangers Hexagon. Yeah. Um, it was going to basically be the Civil War of the Power Rangers universe. It was going to pit Tommy and his Power Rangers against Jason and his Power Rangers. Tommy's Power Rangers were supposed to be more like a united ranger force um, that the government controlled, like in Marvel's Civil War. And Jason's... Was doing the renegade rangers. Pretty much, yeah. Because Jason felt that Power Rangers were better when they were... And you said time. That was supposed to be Time Force? No, that, that was supposed to be uh, Ninja Storm. Ninja Storm. But it, uh, that was about the time that uh, Disney acquired the rights to uh, Power Rangers, and so it never came into fruition. If it would have stayed with Saban, it would have been Power Rangers Hexagon. I don't know if I would have liked that or not. Well, we're uh, going to move on to the toy review. 